the continuing saga of the signal tracer that refuses to work for me. Alright, well here I am on a uh, Sunday evening. <laughs> it is uh, 12.59 in the morning, actually. Uh, I don't know what you can hear, but it's playing. Now, this is hooked up exactly like I had it hooked up yesterday. It's hooked up to the high side of the volume control. Here's my phone. Anybody was wanting to see how I had it hooked up. It comes out of the uh, jack there and goes into here. And feeds into the... Uh, actually, it should feed in here. But I, I get nothing there. And uh, I get... Uh, you know, it works good here. So, uh, I keep getting these leads mixed up. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking it's that transistor. Now, I did, I did, I've done, redone the whole thing. And I've got, I think I got good connections this time. But I'm only getting, uh, let's see, uh, I'm only getting 1.69 on the uh, drain, I think. is I think it's a drain. No, it's a source. On the drain, I have nothing. Well, that's one of the problems right there. I'm not having anything on that. I have, like I say, 1.69 on the source. I have nothing on the uh, drain. No, take that back. I'm backwards. Sorry. I have... Uh, 1.7 on the drain, 1.69 on the source. So that's just not enough, uh, I don't think, difference. So I get nothing at all. I'll show you what I get. It should be a lot louder when I, I plug this in. Nothing. So, I'm thinking it's a transistor. Now, like I said, I did take the transistor out when I rebuilt this and tested it. It tested fine. Uh, I don't know. I've, Like I said, I've completely rebuilt the thing. Well, I'm going to show you here exactly what it did. So, let me turn this off because no sense in having it on. Having it live. Is it live or is it Memorex? You decide. All right, there you can see. Uh, I, I redesigned it completely. Uh, I didn't like the way it was. Uh, it's basically the same, you know, same circuit. I added the diode that uh, Bob mentioned today, and that's in between the R7 and R6, and that's there. Uh, my capacitor for C5 is there, so that's there. Like I said, it's all there, and er everything works on this side. It's just the anything past the, the transistor doesn't work. Same as last time. So the only thing I'm, I'm left to think is that uh, there's something wrong with that transistor. You know, it may, may test good, but it's not performing good. So, you know... I don't know how else to tell you. Um, I'm going to try to find some of my uh, JFS. Bob said that any of them will work. So I think if I can find another one to test, we'll try that next. And like I say, it's after one now. I think I'm going to head to, head to hay. Hit to hay. <laughs> head to hay. Um, 
I got it. Like I said, I spent most of the day doing this rework on this uh, layout. Let me show you what that looks like. There you go. There's the uh, rework. Like I say, I have a lot more room now. You can see all this here, all this over here. Um, this could this could be obviously put on a smaller board, but uh, I can't get it to work like it is. So um, the uh, Q1 basically laid out the same exact way. I just it goes drain, goes into uh, uh, C4 here at, at the junction of R6 and C4, and then it's supposed to go into the high side of the uh, volume control, and then fit, be fed into the LM380N. And like I said, this is all working. This part here all is, is all working. It's just this, this section right here. This is where my hang-up is. I fed, uh, I can feed audio in uh, over here and get it here. In other words, it's going through all the components that it's supposed to go. In fact, it goes through here too. Uh, it goes all the way up to the gate of the uh, transistor. In fact, it will, it will show on the gate, audio will, but it won't go through the transistor, period. I, it just doesn't do it. Yesterday when I did this, it, I, I at least had a little bit of, that was without this, I think that was what Bob was talking about, that was where I was getting that at, was without that uh, diode in there. But the Q1 is just not working. It's just not doing what it's supposed to do. Um, now, I think Bob said he had two something on his, uh, two point something on his, on his uh, transistor. And then he had less on the uh, source. Uh, so I've got basically the same on the drain and the source. That's, that more shows it, or I won't say it proves it, but it's it's pretty in, good indication it's, it's shorted. But it's not showing up as shorted. So that's, that's the weird part. So, all right, like I said, I've talked enough. I've worked enough on this today. I've got the um, tape recorder on the bench. I just made the video for Bill and never did anything else with it though. So like I say, I've been working in my chair all day on this. And I'm happy with that, but like I said, it's just a... In fact, it worked out really good the way on the board here. It's, it's you know, I like it. I like it a lot. But it don't work. It don't work. So like I say, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get rid of that transistor. That's just not working. I'll talk to Bob about it also, and uh, we'll see what happens. You guys have a pleasant, pleasant evening. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you.